got some real time action for you here at my Leverett route. And what this is, is a big long street full of apartments. It might be a mile long. I mean, it goes up that way too, but, and then over there, there's some and another long street with apartments, but I'm just gonna stick to this one route right here. Show it to you real time. See what we can find. University students. This is a college town. And this will be like the older students, graduate students, and young people starting their lives and whatnot. Mixed in with all that is going to be non university folks, of course. With a, with some lightweight tin, the catch plates from stoves and stuff. Plastic blinds. Once upon a time, all these blinds used to be aluminum, and they, for the most part, switched to plastic. That's kind of a bummer. You find a bunch of aluminum blinds, and it really adds up in a hurry. Some gross garbage in there. I probably won't be processing more stuff like this since doing it out of habit. Real time videos, I really don't spend a lot of time breaking stuff down unless I have to. Stacks of textbooks, priority number one. Resale value on textbooks the students throw away is enormous. Some action. Yeah, squirrel, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you a tame squirrel? <laughs> That's a nice aluminum pan in there. What's going on, buddy? Huh? You a brown squirrel? You a brown squirrel? I haven't seen a lot of guys like you around her. Someone's got you tame, don't they? Someone's been feeding you, you little goon boy. Kinds of food in there. Bags of cranberries, bags of meat. A side bag, a bag of kids' toys. It's a real nice pan there. That's worth about a dollar. Hey, look at that. Oh, shoot. I was hoping that was going to be stained glass. I, I collect this pieces of stained glass like that. I didn't see that thing in there. That's still kind of nice though. Um, huh, it's interesting. I'm going to hold on to that for now. 
and kick around in my mind what I want to do with it. It's just in really nice condition. It kind of looks like the window out of a hutch or something. It's brass. The metal on there is all brass and soldered and uh, I'm trying, it reminds me of something. It probably came out of like a a hutch or some kind of cabinet or something. We backtracked a little bit there. Are you on point? Are you this? He was on point. Holding his hand up. Well, I, can't hear you. I said your dog was on point. Oh, was did, you, did you see that? He was holding his arm up like this. No, I didn't see. <laughs> he thought I was a pheasant or something. That's interesting too. I was talking about this thing down here. Looks like an old school camera bag or something. What is that? Uh, um, I'm just gonna take a key to open that. I can tell you that much. Hey, there's something in there too. Hmm. Let's see how good their locks are. <laughs> oh, there goes one lock. Oh, there. Turn it. Ah, I busted one lock off. <laughs> Looked like I knew what I was doing, huh? Yeah. That was a little too hard, I guess. Dye ink pad. I actually need one of those. Let's see if it's got ink on it. It's sealed. It's like for rubber stamps and stuff. That's exactly what I need. This is not what I needed to make a mess. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Bobby, what's Bobby? Bobby seems to be some sort of uh, Roomba type guy. I'm just gonna assume it's broken.
couple little chicken feeders in here. Kinda cool. Some nice uh, bits of scrap metal. What's that? For you? You live here? You want this? That's a joke? Uh, I never know because I deal with so many types of people. Hey, you want some water feeders? Yeah? Yeah. All right. So you never know what you're dealing with. That guy was just joking with me. Uh, he seemed like he's serious, you know, when I, after you have people come up freaking out on you and stuff, you just gotta be careful. Never know what you're dealing with. I thought that guy was totally serious. You know, and then the next person, next person that does it, you don't want to think they're just joking because they could be super serious. <laughs> That's kind of neat little hot plate deal. That's not a bad little water, really. I'm going to keep those intact for now before I scrap them. Kick around what I want to do with them. Bunch of garbage in there. Oh, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna bust that glass, I can hear it. That might be better. these up all the time but just for the sake of taking it they are made out of metal worth about six cents or less
complex over here has two dumpsters and they have a metal sign bolted through the dumpster saying uh, no digging, no scavenging, no trespassing. So I just skip right by it. If anyone out there is interested in how to stop dumpster divers, get a metal sign and bolt it right to your dumpster. Dumpster divers will actually appreciate that because then you don't have to come out and be belligerent and act like a fool and scream at people. bolted right under the dumpster now it's somewhere near there you know I mean a real sign you know not a, not a piece of paper taped to the metal you know <laughs> in the first rainstorm ruins you know like sink a real sign in the dirt you know with a post or on the side of a building near the dumpster, you know? That's all it takes. Scrappy. Uh. Oh, that's not a cord. <laughs> Piece of weather stripping.
Well, that was more brittle than I thought. The good thing was my moped stopped to spray. Some of those fans are so tough, you gotta smash them four or five times. That one just <laughs> cheap, it was probably old. a heifer. <laughs> See a coin laying on the ground and you come back for it. Can't find it. There it is. Yay. Better. Right there, we think that's a nice little motor. Nice little piece. Just sitting there ready.
little dog bed. That's probably a $100 dog bed right there. It's got barf on it. Let's see if I'm right or not. Vibrant Life dog bed. That's about 30 inches by 30 inches or so. Maybe $50. It's at least a $50 item. Guessing. It wasn't as quite as uh, luxurious as some of the other ones I've found. just gonna be full of mattresses and couches and stuff. There's a jumper here.
This slide action has a bunch of them too. Oh, there's more stuff. Whole lot of them. Bird feeder. <sighs> what was this mess? Blood pressure gauge. That's actually probably a nice piece of brass right there. And then uh, some kind of gizmo. A little transformer, some nice wires. Take it. looking deal sitting in there. Swing back by and check it out. Kind of a neat looking little thing actually. I don't see too many like that. It's got this piece. Oh it's heavy too. It's got uh, this piece. Oh, that's much more heavy duty than I thought. That's actually a nice little item. Uh, it's got uh, this piece. I might have to take that home with me, come back for it. Somebody will have that. It's just too cool. It's like a little, little leaf burner. Yard waste burner or something along them lines. It just doesn't belong in this garbage, I can tell you that. Shoot, that thing might have been $100 or more when it was bought new. This is a nice little pot of weeds. <laughs> so you might want that. Get that out in the visible area. I'm going to set this here for now. Someone will want that. And if they don't take it in the next few hours, I'm going to come back and get it.
Yeah, I know. Thanks. What's that? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No. Thanks, though. Yeah, thanks, man. air purifier in there but I'm not gonna mess with it I can always show cutting a little cord off or something so many times in a video before it gets lame <laughs> Probably true with this right here. dumpsters in this trailer park I've never shown before they're usually pretty nasty though but good for scrap metal though this is an ominous looking sight <laughs> let's see I haven't been through here in a while. Make sure there's not a 20 foot pothole in here.
bunch of nasty garbage. Just, I haven't come to here in a long time because it's just, there's probably a scrapper or two that lives in here. Anyways, but it's just, it's just a mess back here. It's gross. trailer courts. <laughs> I'm dogging those two dumpsters specifically. They're just nasty. So I put this dumpster closer to this curb. one big ashtray. Oh, that thing just stinks like old cigarettes. Interesting little box over here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Something in it too. Hey, look at it. Oh boy. Some nice pieces of scrap metal. <sighs> what are we dealing with here? First things first. Cord action. What was that? Super steamer. piece of plastic is filled up with water. Have this. That's a nice chunk there. That's plastic over there. Okay, my battery's dying. So I don't have about 30 seconds left. My battery's done. My battery died there. Sorry about that. I was at the end of the route anyways. So it wasn't too bad. Nice little scrap bits. Whatnot. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked riding along with me. And as always, thanks for watching.